Well, Mike, this is the perfect time to have this conversation then, because right now on my screen, we're making new lows for the year. The new low for the year, 35.82 on the S&P 500. Are you saying in the next few months, Mike, you could change course? And I think we should build on that a little bit more, because the risk, as always, as you know, is to become married to a worldview, super bearish, become married to the position. You can't make the turn to come back into the market. Mike, I know that you haven't done that over the last couple of years. You were super bullish out of the pandemic, and then you turned. What's going to make you turn, Mike? What's going to make you that little bit more bullish to have that rip that you're looking for? Well, the same thing we did in 2020 or that we did in 2017, you know, when we found ourselves out of consensus, it's, you know, you're, you really are sold out. We could argue we are now, but then our fundamental metrics are telling us that we're at a rate of change low. Um, so we've been, we're pretty disciplined around that. We don't get everything right. But, you know, one thing we tend to not, we tend, we tend to be early. We're usually not late. Um, of course, right now, being early can be quite painful. I, I, you know, I don't want to get you know get too bullish here because people then will construe my words to say, hey, you know, here it's time to go, and and that's not what we're saying. We're saying there's still you know the last couple of innings of this bear market could be quite painful, okay? But you got to be ready for when that price gets to an attractive level. If it was five percent away, John, I would say fine. But we still think, you know, kind of low 3,000s, even 3,000 is really where we're probably going. And so, you know, as we go through 3,400, 3,300, kind of towards the low 3,000s, we've heard other people kind of throw those numbers out too, kind of nonchalantly. It's like, that's a big move, you know. I mean, you know, so you don't want to be too early in sort of getting uh, getting your head around on that. But the things we're looking for the most is rate of change on earnings growth and revisions. Uh, valuation could be the other way we get there, which is how we got there during the pandemic. You know, equity risk premium really blows out. And then, of course, we'll, we'll start to see, you know, the whites of the eyes in terms of, say, economic growth, which will, pit, which will actually cause the Fed to pivot. They're not there yet. Okay, so those are three things that we're very focused on. And it's just the, the cake is just not baked yet.